Hey guys, so I'm finally not shaking, which is good. And yes, my boyfriend and I are back together. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> but I am happy that we're back together, even though we're still long distance. Well, he's still in Victoria, but I know I was pretty harsh with him, but he was going through a rough time. I didn't see him for four months while he was trying to get help, so I expected too much too soon, I guess. And that's why I was so mad and angry. As well as I got into debt because I decided to keep speckles. Because in the end, it was still, it was right, it was my choice to, to keep him or not. And at this point, I wanted to because he's already been here since July. And he loves hope. He's always with her. So, I didn't think it was fair for her to give him up, even though I couldn't really afford him. But I did finally slowly get out of pay off my credit card, which is good because I did end up paying a thousand dollars in debt. And that's one of the reasons why Max and I didn't, my boyfriend and I had issues with because I'm 10 years older than him. So a lot of people forget that and I'm a little more responsible since I'm on my own with three cats. So, but I can't afford them. I sell my stuff and I raise money and I ask for donations and because he didn't want to do that, I got really pissed off and kind of ended it because of that also because he couldn't be there for my condition of the shakiness. But now he's kind of sort of... Um, had the same similar situation, so he understands the shaking and how you can't concentrate and how you can't be on the phone and do anything else but sleep. And so now he finally understands that because he's gone through something similar. So that's the other reason why now he's so supportive and the reason why we got back together today. Uh, it's also because, like I kept saying, even when I left, I told everyone and him, including that I still loved him, I just couldn't be in a relationship unless that they were willing to support and encourage me because it's been, it's a lot to deal with and I can't deal with other people's problems, not problems mine and the cats, which is one of the reasons why I haven't talked to my dad for the past couple of months because he still refuses to get help, unfortunately, and so every time we talk, he tells me everything about how the world's crappy and how everything pisses him off and blah 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 and that stuff I just can't be around with my ex is kind of similar to that now my boyfriend but now he's a lot better about life and stuff like that so it is a good thing and I do apologize how harsh I was to him it's just like now I know because of my condition I couldn't be there for him so I understand that I expected too much and that it was also not just that I expected too much, it's, it was hard for me to be there for him because of my condition and he couldn't understand that but now he finally does so we still talk, it's just not that much as before and he doesn't get mad at me when I can't answer my phone so it's, it's a lot better now. <laughs> So be, that's why I just wanted to do a quick video because I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you guys are back together again. Well, as I said in the beginning of the breakup, that I only broke up with him because he couldn't support me. But now since he could support me and I'm supporting him, I think it's a lot easier. And we haven't really spoken to each other in two months, three months almost. And we haven't seen each other in a few months, but we still love each other and we still tell each other that we miss each other all the time. So, that's what I say. I was like, why are we apart? It just doesn't make sense because we still love each other and we still want to be together. It's just our, our health is the way it is. So, that's the update on that. <laughs> so, yes, we are back together. And... Hopefully things will be a lot better. I, I have actually been trying to get back together with him the past month because once I paid off my credit card, I wasn't angry anymore. And, but then he was just like, oh, well, you left. And so that was a downfall. But I've always wanted our cat family together. That's one of the main reasons why I kept speckles. And 
I just want our cat family to be together again. So it's one of the reasons why I haven't given up on him. And I think one of the reasons why I want to share the story is because to let you guys know, yes, we do, we have been on off, on off for the past year, but this time it's going to be different because we're starting over and things, we're both getting help. So that's the main thing. And hopefully things will go smooth. Don't feel like if you are can't handle a relationship, don't be in a relationship if you have a condition. Don't feel like you're forced, well, I'm married to somebody, so I have to stay with them from because we're together. But if they can't be there for you, and if you can't be there for them, there's no point of being together because you're just going to be constantly angry at each other, and that's why we've been so angry at each other. Which is why I'm doing the update video, <laughs> because I want people to realize it's okay to take time away to focus on yourself. It's also okay to do whatever you have to do to get better. And I finally am sort of getting better. The medication is helping a lot. Um, I still get a little shakes here and there, so I do have to fall asleep sometimes like earlier today, but it's only been four, four or five days since I've been taking the medication, the new medication. So it's still it's taking a while. <laughs> So I am getting better and that's another reason why we're back together is because I said we're only apart till I could get better, till I'm strong enough, till I could be in a relationship again. And through the whole time that we were apart, I only wanted to be with him. And whenever I thought about other guys, I was just like, well, he's not my ex. So <laughs> that's, that's the other thing is that I always knew before we met that he was the only guy that I wanted to be with. It's just our health got in the way. So thankfully I am getting better. Thankfully I am staying positive. I am totally obsessed over Jojo, which I know you guys know. About. <laughs> and she's 17 and I'm 40, but I think her songs are really catchy and she just inspires me to be positive because that's what she's all about. And right now that's what I need in my life. So. I think another reason why is because it reminds me of when I was 17 and it was kind of happy times back then, <laughs> more like when I was 12, but she reminds me of that. And since I look young and I have her work, she doesn't really look too bad, but yeah, I have been super obsessed over Jojo, so <laughs> I am not ashamed about that. So yeah, that's the update. Um, I'm still trying to do as much as I can. I'm still in the same clothes because I pretty much wear pajamas since I'm home all day now. And I'm going to really try to do laundry tomorrow and go to the library. I've been trying to for the past few days, but I always end up shaking. So hopefully I'll do that as soon as I get up uh, in the morning. So that's the update. I'm slowly finally getting better. I'm slowly being more positive and even if this is something that I have to live with for the rest of my life or be on medication, I know that he understands now so we can be together because that's that was one of the main things I kept saying. This could be something that I have to live with or I have to be on medication so I have to be with somebody who will stand by my side and now he finally is. So that just proves that love always wins and I'm finally happy now, so hopefully maybe this will help me get better as well because I'm finally with the man that I want to be with and we could be a cat family again. So I'm hanging in there. It's still a little shaky, but getting better each and every day. And thank you guys for all your love and support. And yes, I am back with my ex, but he is a better person now. So yeah, finally finally feel good about life and things like that so I hope you guys are too and once again thanks for the love and support